Zimbabwe's timelines to elections are just not adding up. A new constitution, the cornerstone of Zimbabwe's reform process, will only be adopted by parliament in May, giving lawmakers just six weeks to align key electoral and civil laws. The two movement for democratic change parties within the troubled coalition are adamant that an overhaul is needed of public institutions perceived to be partisan, including the media and security forces. But analysts say the chances of this are slim. Even if ZANU-PF had the willing to implement these reforms which are required by the GPA, uh, there would be insufficient time to put those into place. At 89 and increasingly frail, President Robert Mugabe is in a hurry to call for elections. His party believes a recent High Court ruling upholding Parliament's June expiry date bolsters its position for an early poll. Otherwise, we'll have a country with an unelected government without Parliament to make laws, therefore a government ruling by decree. That is not in the interest of democracy or of the law. But the constitution permits the elections can be called within four months of parliament's dissolution, giving ZANU-PF's rivals hope that SADC mediators in the Zimbabwe crisis will be able to pressure President Mugabe to ease control of key institutions and hold elections at the latest possible time. SADC does not want Zimbabwe back on the SADC agenda after 2013. So they will not accept anything short than a free and fair election. So we are, we are glad that SADC is still committed to that process. According to SADC, it still needs to assist Zimbabwe to put together an election roadmap, outlining minimum conditions for acceptable polls, a seemingly mammoth task for parties, which at this time appear to be entrenched in their positions. Shinga Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.